Upgrades. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? This is Sammy Leggett here representing Team JVS here to give you guys another movie review. This is another anime film. The name of this is called The Tunnel to Summer, The Exit of Goodbyes. Um, I will tell you this, that I had the honor of being able to not only check this out, but we also had an Otakon presentation that I was able to be a part of. And I really appreciate Otakon for 2023 and a great presentation that they provided in the Washington, D.C. area. Uh, but going into the actual anime, um, you got two characters. You got Anzu and you've got Karu. Karu is a, uh, he's an interesting individual <laughs> that I don't really know how, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> he basically is trying to define who he is. Um, right now, as it stands, um, he has a family tragedy um, he's not getting along with his dad and his dad doesn't understand him and is, is eating him apart. It's tearing him apart and his past is haunting him. And there's a rumor of a tunnel that you can kind of go through and travel through time. Now, before he goes and does this, um, Karu actually meets Anzu and in meeting her, it changes his life forever um i i did really enjoy this film um i'll let you know that when i watched it i didn't know what to expect um because i was like is this a supernatural story like is this something that's kind of like um a love story and i kind of i kind of got a, a amalgam of everything like i'll make a comparison so if you've seen um five uh, centimeters per second um if you've seen ironically um your name um even if you've seen uh suzu suzumi um there are certain elements of every single one of those that that director and that creator does that is definitely immersed into this but it's in a different way so if i take suzu for instance suzumi is for instance it's kind of like a supernatural world right and the thing about thing about the comparison i'm sorry i had some technical difficulties i apologize the comparison when it comes to Suzumi versus the comparison to um your name with your name it's like a time travel thing and with this it's kind of an amalgam of the two um but the only reason why i brought up uh, five centimeters per second is because there's also a lot of real raw tragedy and sacrifice when it comes to relationships. Um, and the thing about this one is I was kind of like, I don't know where this story is going to end because I've seen so many different stories like this that don't end <laughs> in the most pleasant of ways. And there's definitely a lot of raw emotion happening because um, whereas like, um, uh, gosh, I pronounced his name wrong, uh, Karu, um, is trying to escape everything. Um, <laughs> Enzu is not a people person. She doesn't know how to interact with people. Like she kind of keeps to herself. She's really shrewd. She's really like the only person that actually understands her is Karu. Like when she first gets on the scene, like she's already like about to get into a fight. <laughs> and that's just off of her demeanor and who she is. But you start to slowly get that 
She's got secrets of her own. She's got things that she's devoted to, things that she regrets, things that she wants to get back to, which thus their their paths cross before like a romantic thing in that they both have something they have to go back to um, to be able to move on with their lives. And it's kind of like that sacrificial thing. It's like because they're trying to go and sacrifice time to go back to the past, they collectively are falling together. And I think that the falling together aspect of this is the most fascinating thing because their relationship is one of the most natural relationships that I've seen progressively in a very long time. Um, because, you know, you find out that she has a hobby and he finds out about it and compliments on her and tells her who she should, who she should be. And then with her, she finds out about his past and finds out what he's really doing. And for the first time in a very long time, someone is worried about him. Someone actually tries to put him over themselves. And that's just not what he's used to. That's not been his bag. He's had to survive everything around him alone. Um, And it's such a very beautiful story. Um, I think I was frustrated with it at times, though, from a narrative standpoint, because I felt like sometimes like, oh, OK, would a person really be this selfish to make this kind of decision? Would a person go and just choose to do this without looking at the ramifications of it? And I, keep, I think the truth of the matter is and just like looking at uh, Karu's eyes right now, you don't know what trauma or loss or pain will allow a person to do, which is why, you know, mental health awareness is one of the most important things um, in this world, um, specifically right now. And so it's kind of like I could not the decisions that some of the characters make, but I really, it seems that I can't. There's also another movie that kind of came to mind with this one because it also had um, a means of escape. Uh, The character was escaping into a digital world to escape their own actual past but because they were trying to do that it intersected with their present and they had to figure out what that looked like and that's bell um bell is one of my favorite animes that came out two years ago to be honest with you though but with with that comparison the tunnel itself is a huge sacrifice it's not just an easy decision to make it's an actual sacrifice and when you really get to kind of see, like, there, I, I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> when you get the understanding of kind of how the tunnel works and what it does with time and what it does to them and what it does to everyone around them, it's just, it's so harsh. And at the same that time, very ra- real and raw and important. Um, the animation for this is beautiful. Um, I never thought that a scene like this would be like, oh, wow, it's a nice gesture. No, it's so much deeper than that. <laughs> and that's a testament to the way they drew it. It's a testament also the way they use storyboarding to uh, bring this scene full circle in a specific way through time. Um, and I think that this one that you're going to actually appreciate and actually love um, I'd highly recommend you go and check out the tunnel into summer, the exit of goodbyes, because I think it's something from a, from a narrative standpoint, I think it's important. Uh, it will frustrate you. It is harsh at times. Um, and it isn't necessarily a happy ending either. Um, but I think you will appreciate what the, what the characters are and what the narrative is trying to do. Um, I'd rate this at an 8 to 8.5 out of 10. This is currently available on High Dive. Highly recommend you go and check it out. I'll talk to you guys a bit later on. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button. Got a lot more reviews and coverage coming. Keep it locked. JVS Wing will stop. Peace, everybody. Thanks. Filing out the top of the I can see the skyline. 50 mile radius on the timeline. Ain't nothing on my mind. Oh, no.